JC, Bad Edit Pro with a video about audio, and today we're going to talk about cleaning records. I've gotten lots of comments from people and messages asking how to clean their records, and we're going to show you how to do it today. And here's what you'll need to clean the records. Of course, you'll need a record. I've got this lovely one here. You need some clean paper towels, and you will need a clean terry cloth towel uh, that we're going to use to put the record down on. And we also want some mild dish detergent. Make sure that you get the kind that doesn't have uh, moisturizers in it. Stay away from the antibacterial kind. Anything that has a lot of stuff like that in it is not what you want to use on your records. Just mild detergent. Now, <clears throat> some folks have criticized this method and said that uh, this isn't good for records. Well, first of all, I would like to put forward that records are made out of plastic, polyvinyl chloride and a little bit of detergent and water will not hurt polyvinyl chloride in any way. Second of all, this is not something that I advocate doing once a week. This is something that you would do if you went to the yard sale and you bought a bunch of records or you went to a thrift shop and you brought them home and they're fingerprinted and dirty. You do not want to play dirty records ever. Not even once. Because if you do, you're going to grind that dirt down into the grooves and you could permanently ruin the records. And this is a great way to get them clean. Um, one thing that you have to keep in mind though, this is not for 78s. This is for vinyl, 33 and 45 RPM records only. Don't do it on 78s. The later vinyl 78s from the 50s, it would be alright of course, but if you don't know what you've got, then um, I would look up uh, some more specialized cleaning methods for those. Okay, so here's what we want to do. First, we want to run ourselves a sink about half full of lukewarm water. You don't want this to be hot and you don't want it to be cold. Just um, barely off of being lukewarm, just to the, that side of being warm is what you're looking for. And you put just a little bit of soap in it, just a drop or two. You don't want it to be real soapy. All you're trying to do is break the surface tension and give the detergent something to do. And of course, what we're going to use to clean with is a nice sponge and this is a relatively fresh one. Um, it's been cleaned out very good. You don't want to use a sponge that you just cleaned out the pot roast dish. Okay, you want to make sure that you get all the grease out of the sponge or just break out a new one. Nice soft sponge and of course we're not going to be using the scouring side. So we're letting our water run into the sink here and of course we want to make sure that the sink is clean as well. You don't want uh, any uh, leftovers from the dirty dishes in here. And you just uh, get your water nice and mixed up and soapy there. And that should be quite enough. We're only going to do one record. Uh, but we want to have enough where we have a very light solution of soap. This isn't a whole lot of soap we're using here. Okay, so take your album and put that out of the way because it will be a little while before it goes back into the shuck. Um, take the album, get your sponge and just start working your way around the record. Now you cannot avoid getting the label just a little bit wet. Um, and it's all right if you do. Most of the labels, it won't hurt it. It's not going to be peeling off. However, uh, if you have a record that has a damaged label or a very old label, you may see it soak up a little bit of the water. So we're going to make sure we get that as dry as we can, as quickly as we can. So we go all around the record here. We want to make sure that we get the surface well and go along with the grooves like this, exactly the opposite way that you would clean a CD. We want to go with the grooves and not across the record like this. And make sure that you get around the edges because that's where everybody grabs the record and we want to get all the re residual fingerprints and whatnot off there. Okay, so once you're satisfied that the record has been relatively clean, is relatively clean and cleaned well. And by the way, I'm not using any pressure on this. I'm just letting the soap and the water do the work and just trying to uh, make sure that it's all around the record. Okay, that's quite good enough. Now, once you've done that, uh, in this case, we can go ahead and let our water out because we're not going to be cleaning another record. Turn your water back on over here. Make sure that it's not too hot now. Hot water will warp a record and just make sure that you rinse it very, 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 very well. As a matter of fact, I like to try and get this moving stream of water over every part of the surface of the record as I'm rinsing it 
so that the uh, pressure from the water will help to dislodge any contaminants or grease or anything that is still in the grooves. The soap will continue to do its work as long as it's actually on the record. So we want to make sure that we go around and as you can see I'm trying to make sure that every bit of the record gets a little bit of time in that stream. I'm going to go around one more time here. We'll go ahead and rinse this side off again to make sure that there's no soap anywhere on it. And the record at this point should feel kind of squeaky in your hands. All right, now once that's off, once you get that done, shake off as much of the water as you can, and then come bring it here and bring it down on the towel. And this is important because we do not want this water to dry on this record. We want to get it off using a clean paper towel and just move the paper towel over the surface of the record like this to soak up as, as much of that water as we possibly can. And of course the towel's probably done some of it on this side as well, but we'll go back over it. And this is also a good time to inspect to see that there's not any fingerprints that are left over. You may have to go back and do this again and use a little bit more pressure on your sponge this time around because some of these uh, fingerprints, especially ones that have been on records for a long, long time, can be very difficult to get off. Now, we want this record to be bone dry, not a drop of water on it, and the paper towel is just slightly damp, but we don't want any water to be standing on the surface because any standing water that's left on the record is going to dry, and if it does, it will leave a spot, a water spot, which is, you know, hard things in the water like lime and other impurities, and we certainly don't want to leave that on the record. So this record is done. It is clean, and as you can see, there are no droplets of water. The label is relatively dry, although since the label is paper, it will soak up a little bit of the water. So what I like to do is just to take the record and put it down and let it sit for a little while before returning it to the jacket. And if you've got 50 of them, you can just work yourself up a little assembly line and get through them. And once again, this is a very important point, which I've pointed out before in other videos, don't play a dirty record. It ruins the record permanently and it uh, makes your stylus wear out a lot faster. So there you go. This is my method for cleaning records. and. Uh, after this, uh, you can probably use some of the record cleaning solutions, but nothing works better than a little bit of detergent, a little bit of water to get that really nasty stuff off. And on some records that even after you have done this, if they pop and click still, uh, go over them with a 50% solution of isopropyl alcohol and water and do the same thing. Make sure you dry the record thoroughly after you do that. You don't want to leave it sit. And uh, that tends to lift uh, some of those things that cause the pops and the cracks. Uh, it's just that the alcohol will dissolve what uh, the soap won't sometimes. And some of these, you've got to remember when you're dealing with a 50 year old record, you have no idea what contaminants it's picked up from the air. So there you go. JC, Bad Edit Pro, waving bye bye. Thanks for watching.